welcome back children now we will study about the poem the lebanon top by ted hughes so let's begin the lebanon top is silent quite still in the afternoon yellow september sunlight a few leaves yellowing all its seeds fallen so the poet wants to say that during the afternoon of an autumnal september so september is the month of is an autumn month you know very well so it was afternoon time there was sun in the sky sunlight was there and the month was of september and the lebanon top was silent few leaves had turned yellow and all its seeds fallen so few leaves had turned yellow and all seeds had fallen down means during the afternoon of our september the highest part of the lebanon tree is silent calm and quiet a few of its leaves are turning yellow but all its seeds have fallen down till the goldfinch comes with a twitching chirp a suddenness a startlement at a branch end then sleek as a lizard and alert and abrupt she enters the thickness and the machine starts up of chitterings and a tremor of wings and trillings the whole tree trembles and thrills it is the engine of her family she stokes it full then flirts out to a branch end showing her bad face identity mask so children tree was quiet and its top was also quiet suddenly a goldfinch comes at a branch end its sudden chirping sounds break the silence then quite watchfully and smoothly like a lizard she suddenly enters the middle part of the tree she enters the thickness means she enters the middle part of the tree then the tree is filled up with a series of short quick high pitched chattering sounds shaking of wings and repeated short sounds means the bird starts its activity it seems as if a whole machine has started working the whole tree shakes slightly and feels excited thrills means excited trembles means shakes perhaps the goldfinch has made her nest there and she feeds her young ones this engine of her family responds to her call and after stoking it she moves out in a short time 
and goes to the branch end where her face remains partly visible the bars on her face serve as mask for her identity means after doing a lot of activities the bird moves to a branch end and she hides her face just behind the leaves and the twigs so from there the bird shows her bird face identity mask and what is the face identity mask the leaves th the twigs then with airy delicate whistle chirp with springs she launches away towards the infinite and the labanum subsides to empty so the poet says that after doing a lot of activities then with mysterious and frightening light pleasant soft sound of whistling and chirping the bird moves forward towards endless heaven endless he heaven here signifies the open sky once she rises towards god's abode abode means home or the infinite the labanum tree becomes calmer or quieter and it seems to be empty so children that was the explanation of the poem but before i end up let me tell you about the lesson which we learn from this poem children this poem the labanum top is very much symbolic it symbolizes the life of human beings also as you all know children poems are written by poets and they are human beings too and they catch up any part of human life and create a poem so this poem also signifies human life which is full of mysteries and various things a human life has various phases it includes laugh cry weep merriment enjoy sadness and everything every other thing the human life has so like the labanum tree the human being experiences happiness and sadness and these phases of happiness and sadness they come in an alternate manner children this poem teaches us a very big lesson that after every happiness there is sadness and after every sadness there comes happiness as night cannot stop the day to come out in the same way the sadness cannot last long definitely it would be overcome by happiness so children we must learn this lesson of life from this poem that in tough situations we must not get hopeless because tough situations are a testing times as you can see this example of the labanum tree 
फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इज इट वॉज क्वाइट साइलेंट एम टी सडनली इट वॉज ओवरकम बाय चर्पिंग ऑफ बर्ड्स ऑल द एक्टिविटीज एंड द ट्री ऑल्सो बिकम्स हैप्पी बट अगेन इट बिकम्स सैड बट इट डजेंट मीन द बर्ड वोंट कम बैक अगेन डेफिनेटली इट हैज बिल्ट इट्स नेस्ट ओवर देयर it will come back it means the happiness will come back so this is the lesson in this poem and that's all in this poem children thank you